right, so he, here we are at the uh, BMW Riders of Oregon Chief Joseph Rally in John Day, Oregon. Got our display stand here with the Coyote saddle bag, the 39 liter horseshoe shaped bag, the 60 liter Great Basin, limited edition blue Mojave saddle bag. Those are three horseshoe shaped saddle bags. Here on display, we got our buck and roll tank bag, our most minimalist tank bag. We have our pannier pockets, which can be added to any of the uh, tank bags to expand your carrying capacity on the front of the bike. We got our Ochco Enduro Tail Pack, which is a great tool pouch and it's designed to. Uh, Fit here in the center position on the Mojave saddlebag. Got our Tillamook and Columbia dry bags. Of course, our dry bags are designed to be double ended so you can access your gear from either end. And they're designed so that you can run straps through the daisy chain, which ensures that they can't fall out the straps are running through them. And you can also get in and out of our double-ended dry bags without unstrapping them from the bike. Of course, the Columbia includes its own straps and uh, that are integrated right into it. So you can uh, attach it to like, the top of our Siskiyou panniers, for example, or a rack. These are the Siskiyou panniers with a couple of little updates for this season. We're using our mounts here as our attachment points to the pasture footrest mounts for the Siskiyou panniers this year. And we have also added a compression strap here to help uh, prevent the bags from bulging quite so much because it seems to be human nature that we all overpack and want to stuff things to their maximum capacity. We all do it, it seems. Got my Rally Raid side luggage racks that when you put those on the Rally Raid Honda CB500X Adventure, the Siski Panders are just gonna fit on that bike like they were made for it. On the peg wall here, we're showing the three different sizes of tank bags. The Smallest Diablo, the Fandango, so four liters, eight liters. Kyger tank bags, the largest at nine liters with the zipperless floating lid. And then the uh, comparison here with all the, the three horseshoe shaped saddle bags. Of course, Giant Loop pioneered the, that distinctive horseshoe shaped design uh, back in 2008 with our original Giant Loop saddle bag. 2008, uh, started the company with basically a ballistic cloth version of this one that bolted to the plastics of the dirt bike. So we have the Mojave saddlebag for a day of riding on a on a dirt dirt bike or dual sport. Coyote saddlebag for an overnight or longer trip on an enduro or dual sport bike. The Great Basin which is really remarkably universal in fit and is 60 liters and sits where the pasture would sit on a bike that's designed to carry a pasture and has pasture pegs. Uh, over here we've got some apparel on display. We got our distinctive uh, cow skull cap there. We've got the snow version of our base layer wicking shirt. And our go light, go fast, go far t-shirt as well as the quick drying wicking base layer version of it long sleeves this is the made by Carhartt which of course is famous for ultra durable work clothing so Carhartt made these really nice tool rolls for our friends over at Lost for a reason and the proceeds of the sales for these uh, proceeds for the sales for, uh, of these tool rolls 
um, help support Lost for a Reason's work um, with uh, Navajo Nation. Here's our uh, titanium multi-fuel cook kit. We've got the wood stove and windscreen as well as the alcohol burner and fuel tablet burner that fit inside so you can burn wood, alcohol, or fuel tablets with our giant loop cooking system there. These Princeton Tech LED headlamps are the brightest headlamps I've ever seen for their size. Ultra light, ultra compact, but super bright. We've got our feather-like survival kit here with some essentials. Um, they're a great idea to have with you, just in case of the unexpected. The beautiful uh, titanium funnel flask with the built-in silicone funnel that just folds up and rolls up so that you can fill up the, the flask really easily and then just roll it back down when you're done with it. And packed in here is our 10 foot by 10 foot waterproof shelter tarp. This is a hundred square feet of shelter in a 20 ounce package that's the size of a couple big burritos. Reflective uh, rope here that's great for uh, staking out your the tarp. Um, you can tie bits of that reflective uh, onto the your uh, tent pegs. Makes them really easy to find in the grass and in the dark. Great uh, super compact lightweight Joey chair that packs into this little package. Tyvek ground sheet. Sleeping bag cover. So this is a super lightweight cover that goes over your sleeping bag to keep it clean, keep it dry, keep the uh, dew off you, keep the bugs off you. It has a nice bug uh, mesh hood that you can pull over yourself. Vinyl protective film to prevent scuffs and scratches underneath where the tank bags and saddle bags contact the painted surfaces. The Bushwhackers hand guards, which will keep your hands dry and warm and free of mud, and they strap on in just a minute over top of your rigid hand guards and, and then pop right off when you don't need them. Really terrific thing if you're ever riding cold, wet conditions. Uh, our zigzag handlebar bag, which fits just about anything with handlebars, and it's just enough room to carry a wallet and watch and cell phone. All right. Handy pronghorn straps here. Three different lengths. Tracker packer for the Spot Gen 3 device. The ruggedized holster so you can carry it on yourself instead of on the bike, which is a safer practice. Got some rock straps. The ultimate heavy duty straps for motorcycles. No hooks, no bungees, none of that nonsense. Got our great rubber boa straps. If you've ever lost a fender bag, you can use these and it will never happen again. Mob Armor smartphone handlebar mounts. Put your smartphone in a waterproof case and mount it right to your handlebars. Our quick loop cables, security cables in uh, 36 inch and 84 inch lengths. Secure your helmet and jacket to the bike. And then these uh, you can use to secure your luggage to the bike, the Great Basin and Siski panniers have pass-through sleeves so you can lock the luggage right to your bike. So our new toe straps, which are 14 feet 9 inches of custom woven Cordura ballistic webbing with sewn loops on either side. Travel strap that you can uh, carry our saddlebags and tank bags and so, so on off the bike uh, with a travel shoulder strap gear repair kit and some trail side repair essentials. Our new gas bag fuel safe bladder holds one gallon of gas and a flexible bladder. Our hot springs heat shield. We of course include the heat shields with all our saddle bags and the Siski panniers. Uh, so the bags can literally be riding on the exhaust shield uh, and as long as they're not making direct contact with the exhaust there's no damage 
to the bags. And here's the larger cousin. We call this the Hot Springs Heat Shield Grande. Larger version of it. Two liter fuel can, one gallon fuel can that fits inside our tank bags and saddle bags very nicely because of its unconventional shape there. These fit in the pockets of our panniers and the side pockets of the Mojave saddle bag. Here's the complete giant loop cook kit. So here's the wood burner slash windscreen combined with the alcohol burner. You flip the alcohol burner over and you burn fuel tablets. So you have wood, alcohol, and fuel tablet fuel options. And then this is a titanium fry pan slash lid slash double boiler with a nice single serving size pot there. Titanium, ultra strong, ultra light. This stuff will last you a lifetime. And of course, here's our Giant Loop F800 GS. We have the Klamath tail rack pack mounted up to the tail rack on the F800. We're using the handlebar bag here strapped to the uh, bar on the, uh, the luggage rack to just illustrate that this handlebar bag can go in a number of places to carry smaller items. These are the new round the world panniers. Ta-da! You can fit a gallon of gas or water in these huge five liter pockets. Carry all your tools and tire repair kit and the back pockets. And these things are just fantastically functional, expandable design. You can carry things under the lid and these compression wings, put shoes, maps. I like to put maps under the, the top wing. Getting in and out of the bags really this simple so if I can do it with one hand there we go so now we're in the bag there's the inner liner bag that's included with it so they're 100 percent waterproof and of course the round the world panniers are our first design that's specifically intended to be rack mounted to a luggage rack so you can see we have the tour attack luggage rack here and the tour attack mount pucks um, mounting the round the world panniers in exactly the same way that the uh, the hard luggage would mount to this particular rack system we also sell the happy trails uh, mounting hardware um, so between the tour attack and happy trails mounting hardware these round the world panniers are gonna mount to almost any side luggage rack system with flat vertical sides you just match up your tubing diameter when you're choosing your hardware. There's the limited edition orange Kyger tank bag. And of course, this features our zipperless clamshell lid design. And all of our tank bags feature the inner waterproof liner bag, as does the Klamath tail rack pack here, which is like it. the tank bag for the tail of the bike, really. A nice mesh pocket here under the lid. A divider that can be removed or repositioned. There's the waterproof inner liner, tank bag dry pod. And there are about five or six different ways that you can mount that Klamath. That's really a beautiful tail pack. It also chimes with the uh, Mojave saddle bag so you can attach it to the top center position on the Mojave saddlebag as well. Bushwhackers hand guards, again, just giving huge amounts of protection here. Your hands will stay warm and dry. You be dry almost up to your elbows even in a heavy rain. And the new toe strap, I just Girth hitched it onto the uh, engine guards here and, and tied it off on this side just to kind of illustrate the how long it is and so on. And you know, you could use this kind of a setup if you had a friend to help pull you out when you're stuck. You could even have a stronger connection on the fork legs themselves. You can uh, easily do a, a peg to peg towing style where one rider just stands on one end basically and the other rider uh, stands on the other end of the webbing strap and 
you just pin the webbing strap to your foot peg for the toe and if either person needs to you just lift your foot and, and you're, you're disconnected so that's a really nice easy safe uh, towing method so that's the new giant loop toe strap there with ballista ballistic uh, cordura ballistic webbing super strong stuff you could lift up the whole motorcycle with this webbing so that's the quick tour here of our stand at the giant loop booth at the BMW Riders of Oregon Chief Joseph Rally 2016 What do you think, George, about your first Chief Joseph rally? It's good. Too yeah. many BMWs. Yeah. <laughs> the Beamers, uh, the Beamer riders are, are enthusiasts for sure.